Well, good to see you. Thank you. You too. And fun time with this movie. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, like we've been talking about with everybody, you know, there are going to be people, of course, when it first comes on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know who did it. I know who the person is that they're going to be looking for. No way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are just so many twists and turns in this film. I know. Really, really. I have to. I ha I've only seen it once. So okay. I gotta. I gotta go again because I literally said that at the end. There was just so much going on. Mm -hmm. You know, you think you know, you're following down. You know, one path, right. and then they switch up on you. And you're like, wait a minute, let me go back. Did I see that coming? I did not. <laughs> no. And it is one of those, yeah, where you will have to go back and see it again, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know, just kind of go, okay, maybe I'll see like a red herring here right. or something, and it's gonna be like, no, mm -hmm. not. Not at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> and you're back with the CIA. Well, no, this no. is my first time. Oh, okay. Or your character with the CIA. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. uh, with the CIA. And just everybody's part of some different organization. Right. And it often makes you wonder, okay, are they working together or working against mm -hmm. <laughs> each other? Mm -hmm. Remains to be seen. But yes, That's I right. play Erica Sloan, and I'm the deputy director of the CIA. And I've taken over and assumed this position from Hunley who, you know, we're familiar with, mm -hmm. who was the director, and now he's moved on. He's moved on, mm -hmm. and our, our methodology, our way of doing things, couldn't be you know, any more different. No, that's for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. And then you see this whole movie, and everybody, no matter what the part is, everybody had to be in darn good shape. Because this <laughs> thing, when it starts, it just goes until the end. <laughs> I know, yeah. It it shoots right out of a canyon from cannon from like opening credits, mm -hmm. and you are on. Once that music starts, you're on that bullet. <laughs> and that's gonna be so great because I mean, I know I grew up watching, you know, of course, Mission Impossible. Mm -hmm. And just every Saturday night, you hear that theme song. Yes. You see the match light. Don't you get it, happy? It is. That thing just gets you going. No. I mean, <laughs> it is truly another character of the film. Adrenaline <laughs> for the years, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then also, you know, you think about. Like we said, Tom Cruise doing his own stunts, even with a broken ankle. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, you know, I'm kind of close to the same age, but when I sit down, I ache. Uh -oh. How does he, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty amazing. He is truly amazing. And uh, I had time of my life working with him. I never thought that, you know, I'd find myself in the Tom Cruise mood, but I have to remind my sister that maybe... 25 years ago, you know, she was hanging out with me and we ran into him at a party. Oh. She went up to him and said, you ought to do a movie with my sister. Oh, wow. And I had maybe done like one movie. Okay. <laughs> but I have to remind her. But it's, it's come to fruition. Oh, that is yeah, so Yeah, so I cool. wonder who else she wants me to work with. Wow, let's see. Who, who, who else <laughs> is on that dream list? I mean, <laughs> you've, you've worked with so many great people. Yeah, Of I'm course, really and for yourself as well, you know. Thank you. Over You're the years, so. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. And with this franchise, even talking to the director, Christopher, it's like, this thing can just continue to go and go. He says, as long as Tom doesn't start falling apart, that was his thing. <laughs> okay. It'll just Did keep. Did he say that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he says, but he don't think he I will. don't think there's any. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any worry there. No, no. No time soon. No time soon. So maybe I'll be back for seven. <laughs> What the heck? Or mm. eight, nine, ten? Mm. You know, I mean, because... As long as I don't fall apart. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Stay ready. Is the <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's, that's the That's right. And it, it is. It's just fun for people, like you said, for those of us who grew up with the TV show, for those who, you know, just started out with the movie series, mm -hmm. you know who the character, well, his character and, you know, the other characters are. So it is. It's kind of like going to the movie, seeing people that you already know. Yeah, yeah, that you're familiar with. And yet also with this one, you don't have to have... Right. seen any of the, you mm -hmm. know, the other five to, you know, come into this, to enter into this world and be completely and totally mesmerized. Right. And I was going to say, I dare say, you've got the, what is it, fast-paced action movie of the summer. How's that? Feels Just really putting good. it out there, you yeah. know. It's that. true. Yeah, it is. It's true, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it really is because it's, like you said, it's fun, it's exciting, and no one's wearing a costume. Or flying in space. So mm -hmm. <laughs> people, you know, want to break every once in a while. So that is fa fantastic. Thank you. And like I said, again, I know that your friends and family and everybody in Detroit will definitely be out there lining up to see it. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to have you come. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. i have to have you come to Detroit and, you know, watch the movie with them all. Okay. So that'd be great. Okay. All right. Thank Angela, you. always a pleasure seeing you. Same. Thank same. you so Thank much. Thank you so much. <laughs> but great to see you. Good to see you. And enjoyed watching the movie last night. Thank you. That thing takes off and doesn't stop until the end, if you know what I mean. Yeah. 
God. That's job one. Right. What's that like for you? I mean, like it's just constant action, you know, straight through. And it keeps everybody riveted and looking at the screen. Oh, well, that's what we aim for. So mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Because I remember even when you started last night, you even talked about, uh, you know, how Tom had broken his ankle. Yeah. And like you said, we're looking and it's kind of like, okay, he's kind of walking even still better than the rest of us. And we haven't yeah. broken anything. Yeah. And you suddenly become aware of how much running there is in the movie. And mm -hmm. yeah, it was, it, was, it was a very challenging show for him. But he rose to the occasion. It was really amazing. All right. And... Pretty much everybody in this film, I mean, had to be in shape, had to be ready to go, because everyone <laughs> really gets somebody going after them. That's right. Everybody, I, I wanted to make sure that everybody had their their moment in the movie. Right, yeah. right. And the other thing that was really kind of neat is, you know, it's kind of like, a, okay, who done it? You know, you got to figure this out. And at one point or another throughout the movie, you're going to be looking going, okay, I know it's you. And then later, I know it's her. Okay, it's him, or you know, pointing. After a while, you're pointing to yourself in the audience, going like, <laughs> "It's got to be me," and you're the writer. So talk about you know setting that whole thing. Well, up. the secret weapon on a Mission Impossible movie now mm -hmm. is the audience, because everybody has, everybody who's seen these movies before knows that a double cross is coming. So they're all trying to outsmart the movie, mm -hmm. uh, and we use that to our advantage several times in the movie. You, just, you, it, it was early audiences that were watching it who were trying to guess where it was going. We were just laughing because we, we were saying, just, just watch the movie. It'll, you know, it'll all work out. Right, and I always love those people too. Oh, I knew who it was right with the opening titles. You know, yeah. I knew it was Bruce Willis. I knew he was dead. <laughs> and you're going, no, you didn't. <laughs> you have to yes. follow along. And like you said, just so many you know great characters. Of course, Tom, who I, I still watch. I mean, we're somewhere around the same age. I ache sitting down. And I can just imagine this guy, I mean, like I said, doing all of his own stunts. What's that yeah. like for you as a director? You know, just it's pretty nerve wracking. I mean, you 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 know that you know that th that this movie has to raise the bar. You know you have to come up with bigger and crazier stunts than the last one. And you know that he's going to say yes and he's going to do them. So uh, as you you're kind of you're kind of writing those ideas down with one eye closed. Right. And, and the other challenge, of course, is that everything he's doing, I have to be right there doing it with him. So oh, wow. um, I, I would much prefer not to be on top of a mountain or chasing him in a helicopter. I'd rather be on the, you know, have both feet on the ground. Right. I said, when I was talking with Henry, he said that he is going to try and follow Tom's book. He said, he said because he's always in such great condition. Yep. And, you know, like he said, puts 110%, as the saying goes, you know, into everything he does. Yes. And it, yeah, it, it's it's he's an example to everybody, and it's it's great watching everybody come to the movie and mm -hmm. look to Tom and sort of raise their own game, and uh, and 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 on this movie especially, watching everybody, mm -hmm. everybody has stunts, everybody has action, everybody's got something to do. Right, and such a great cast too. I mean, you know, you've got to look at this thing and go, okay, look at all these people that I've got in here. You know, Simon Ving and all these other folks, and it's like this is kind of like the who's who of who you'd want to get in it. Oh yeah, no, we're very, very spoiled. And, and that's the beauty of making a movie like this is, you know, you, uh, you ask people to come and they come, they want to be a part of it. And it's, it makes my job a lot easier. Right. And another iconic member of the cast, that theme song. Yes. Been listening to that since I was a little boy, you know, watching it on Saturday night. And just yes. as soon as it comes on, it just gets the adrenaline going. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be one of the most recognizable theme songs. You know, there, there, there are very few that are that, that are that recognizable. Right. Yeah. Right. And like you said, with just the way how everybody is, I mean, staying in shape, this franchise can go for how many more, you think? Uh, that's entirely up to Tom, <laughs> however many more he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Well, like you said, everybody's enjoying the story. And uh, again, you know, when we came out last night, we we're talking about the fight scenes. I mean, our two favorite, the bathroom yeah. and the helicopter. Yeah. You know, as far as those really stick out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, the bathroom scene, the, the, the beauty of a sequence like that is uh, it's three actors who are who are so well trained, so well rehearsed, mm -hmm. and working so hard that I don't have to, I don't have to cut, I don't have to shake the camera, I don't have to make the action happen. And it just made, it, again, it made my job a lot easier. That's why I think that scene is so unique. Mm -hmm. They're really doing it. Right. Like you said, the whole movie, just keep you riveted. So, Chris, thank you very much. Thank you. And enjoy. All very, right, very thank much. you. I will. Thank you. Well, a pleasure to see you. And this movie's just fast paced right from the start. Was there even like a two minute gap where people just sat? I I was trying to work that out because I really needed to pee. <laughs> and I was sitting there thinking, okay, I know the script. I know kind of where everything lies. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of editing which has gone on which has changed stuff to make sure the movie fits. Mm -hmm. But I was sitting there thinking, when, when can I step away? Mm -hmm. 
And do I step away during one of my scenes? Do I step away during someone else's scenes? I was sitting with other actors as well. And I was like, which is, which is the worst thing to do? And I eventually chose one of my scenes, but because I knew what was going to happen. I was like, okay, I've seen this scene in the editing room. I'm okay with it. I, I don't need to see it right now. And I made a, a dash for the loo, which is, it worked out in my favor in the end. Good, and, and you had to go quick because you immediately, okay, yeah, back out, straight guys. straight back in, yeah. Do all this stuff. And I mean, just the fight scenes and different things, because we were even talking last night, obviously this didn't give anything away, but you know, you have a fight scene with the helicopter, you also have a fight scene in the restroom, speaking of which. Yes. And it's, we're trying to figure out which one was, you know, the yeah, roughest. Yeah, they're both, they're both really, really good scenes. Mm -hmm. And my personal favorite is probably the helicopter sequence. Okay. Only because I felt like I went through so much <laughs> during that process. It was it was a little it was uncomfortably cold. Let's put it that way. Okay. And uh, I, at the same time, have such wonderful memories of how beautiful it was. And as much as it was freezing cold, there was I was looking at the mountains of New Zealand, yeah. with oh. nothing in between me and them. Mm -hmm. There was no looking through windows of an air aircraft. I was sitting there outside a helicopter, looking at the glaciers and the mountains. There was one day we were sitting there while Tom was doing one of his particularly insane stunts himself, right. which is mad. I was sitting there watching, a, there was a big, huge glacier underneath me and you could see that some people had maybe landed down there in the helicopter and everything and you see little footprints and stuff. Mm -hmm. And But I was sitting up here watching the sun set over the ocean and I just thought, you know what? Doesn't matter how cold it is. Like you can't beat this view. And I, I consider myself very lucky. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Also, with this movie, the Another one of the great things about it is, you think you know who people are. Yeah. This is kind of like one of the biggest, who done it, what for, and blah, 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 and who do you yeah. trust and not trust? Chris McQuarrie has done an amazing job with making this, making this a constant ride. Like, there's no point where you go, okay, I've got everyone's number now. Like, anything could happen, and it's, it was a pleasure to be a part of. And thankfully, a pleasure to watch as well. Oh, for sure. I mean, you are, you're sitting there and you're just going, okay, go get this person, go get this person. And it's like, like you said, that's the bad guy right there. And it's like, right. okay, well, no, maybe then that's the bad girl. We don't know. We don't know. But yeah, just a whole fun thing. And again, everybody gets beat up in this movie. I don't think really anybody walks yeah. away unscathed no, except no, maybe no Michelle Monaghan. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe, right. <laughs> But yeah, so everybody, you know, like they always say, oh, is everybody in condition? Yeah, you kind of had to be. Yeah, absolutely. You had to be physically fit. You had to be physically fit to get through this because as much as it's all, it's all stunts and you're ideally not getting hurt, it's, it's still a beating on the body to pretend to be getting hurt and to go through all these stunt rigs and everything. It's not, it's not easy and you need to be fit to recover every day. For sure. And for you, I mean, and for everybody else, it just had to be fun because, I mean, like as little kids, we'd all run around, you know, like with our yeah. guns playing super spy and all like this. Mm -hmm. And here you are. I mean, you're doing it big scale. <laughs> yeah. And it is fun. It really is. I love this kind of stuff. I love this so much, in fact, that I'm walking away from this movie and I'm going to take a page out of Tom Cruise's book and learn a number of the skill sets which he has learned because it allows for these amazingly fun experiences which you can do while shooting. I mean, as much as stunt flying a helicopter through the mountains is hair-raising. I mean, the, what the stuff that he did was really, really quite remarkable. If it ever comes to it, mm -hmm. I want to be able to have the skills so I can do something of that level. I'm not necessarily going to be like, yeah, I'm going to go for a weekend and go nosedive a helicopter towards a mountain <laughs> and see what happens. Right. That's not my idea of fun, but for filmmaking, absolutely. And Tom has set a wonderful example in that. For sure. And Henry, always a pleasure seeing you. Thank you. And enjoyed seeing this movie. And uh, Thank you. can't wait to hear what he says. So thanks a lot. <laughs> We're in it. We're in it. You were in it. Yes. You were in the, oh my yeah. God, this fun, fast paced, action packed movie. Oxygen. Oh. Bomb. Boom. That's right. I just want to make sounds. <laughs> On a matapeic. <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But man, oh man, like I've been mentioning everybody, it's like just right from the start till, you know, the end. I know. It just moves. On the edge. Oh, for sure. This is where people are going to sort of sit down. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I know. And, you know, you see this movie and it's you're a great thriller because 
everybody thinks they know who the person or whatever is. But you don't. You don't. I know, <laughs> but this is why we have Chris. He's such a good storyteller. Yeah. And I think also this one, I saw it yesterday. With you guys? Did you watch it yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was there. You were there? You and me. Oh, wow. Yeah. I wish I'd known. We would have sat together and watched. I know. Dread. Um, <laughs> But uh, I think this film, what I felt actually when I saw it, and not much, I didn't feel it was shooting, yeah. but cut together, it's much darker, much raw. Right. All the characters are kind of questioning their own good and bad mm -hmm. sides and sort of playing around with the gray color in between. Right. The unpredictability. Yeah, because like you said, you know, it, it, it's almost like everything changes, you know, from scene to scene as far as people yeah. and different things. Also, everybody's getting beat up. You. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do? You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do. I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah, I, know. I mean, you were. How about the bathroom scene? That's oh, that's yeah. It's the big... so good. It really is. I could have just walked out there. <laughs> it's so good. Like I said, we're all just watching it go, and it just seems like it was flawless, I mean, or, you know, seamless, where it was just one shot, you know, where they were just following everybody around. And just... And everyone also, what I love is, everyone has their technique, mm -hmm. everyone has their style, but also everyone in this film has a purpose. Right. There is no one just to fill out the corners, yeah. you know, for reason, bring in some women, do this, where mm -hmm. everyone serves a purpose in this film. Right. And like you said, in speaking of women, I mean, all the women in this movie are powerful people. Oh, my God. How about Angela? Yeah. Ah. Oh. No. I mean, she is so cool and calm. I kind of want to be her in real life. No. I sit here and practice. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> she's kind of like this, isn't she? Right. So <laughs> tell me. <laughs> tell me. Yes, that didn't go very well. <laughs> Did it? Right. And then that's when you're just like, and you know she's tough because the only thing you can say is, no, it no, didn't. No, it did not. It did not at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you want to shoot me now, or should I walk away, you know? Where's Hammer Fists? Bring him on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Henry. And like you said, so many great characters, you know, know, in this film. I know. And, you know, just even, of course, thinking about Tom, and everybody's been saying that he was kind of like the leader because by him doing all his own stunts, everybody else is going, I can't not do mine. No, I know. <laughs> Everyone wants to do their own. But I think also that's something that I realized in the last mission, it's, you're never forced into doing anything. And I think what helps is seeing Tom do his and mm -hmm. seeing Tom and being a part of the prep that is needed and the training. And we train together and we have fun and we build it up to the day. And then I know that I had stunt doubles. I have people on standby in case I can't do it. And that pushes me into wanting to do it as well. Mm -hmm. Well, fantastic. Well, you did it, and you did it so well. Thank you. Honey. Always so great to see you. Thank you. Oh, you too. It's a pleasure. Great. Simon, always a pleasure to see you. Nice to see you too. And uh, fun time watching the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I just saw it, I think, the night before you did. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, you were that yeah. first group they were talking yeah, about. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, man, right from, you know, Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. It just goes. No, I mean, I, you know, I couldn't sleep afterwards because my adrenaline was so up. And I know what's going to happen, you know. I can only imagine what it must be like for the audience going in there. It's like being on a roller coaster, you know. Mm -hmm. It is. And the, the other fun part, just when you said about, you know, the audience, of course, you know, we all think we're really smart and think, oh, I know whoever this person is. Yeah. And, you know, after a while, it's kind of like, is it that person? Is it everybody? Is it no one? What the heck? Yeah. I mean, it was great the way it was just written out that way. Yeah, and I think McHugh, Chris McQuarrie really, really excels at that because he loves the kind of uh, the, the spy craft element of the first movie, of De Palma's movie, which is all about double crosses and intrigue. But he also loves the grander strokes of John Woo's and JJ's and Brad's movies. So he combines that. So you have that great sort of spy movie kind of elegance along with these gigantic set pieces which kind of blow your mind, you know. That's for sure. I mean, you, you're seeing people on top of mountains, jumping off of buildings and yeah. everything, and I'm just sitting there going, I'm aching, I'm just sitting in a movie seat. I know, so. I know. <laughs> yeah, or on the very edge of it, usually. Right, yeah. right, no, that's for sure. And yeah. everybody in the film, I mean, definitely had been good shape. Everybody's getting beat up. I know, Some way, I know. shape, or form. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard one, and I think that the fact is that every time we make a movie, we have to turn it up, you know, because the last mission, which seemed impossible, proved not to be. So the next one has to be worse. It has to be more difficult, more challenging. I don't know where this ends. I couldn't even tell you. It frightens me to think about it.
I was going to ask you, what's going to happen in like seven or eight oh, or nine? Mate, or... I don't know. I hope it goes very tiny and it's just a mission about changing a light bulb or something. <laughs> That'll be it. That'll be it. How do we do that? You're turning it the wrong way. Yeah. That's why it's impossible. Credits roll. That's it. <laughs> I like that. We'll write it. That sounds yeah. great. And now for you, uh, how many has this been for you now? Four now. Four. Wow. Yeah. And like you said, each one just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. And it's been a privilege to play a character this many times. I, this, I've played Benji more than any other character now. And, um, you know, he's gone from being a little lab technician to being a fully-fledged secret agent with responsibilities in the field, you know, uh, acting in high-pressure situations and, and doing okay, you know. It's, it's been really, really good fun. Maybe this one is the end of him. We don't know. Let's wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> and I, mean, I know it's almost like, is it the end of everyone or what? But I know. I mean, well, you know, not everybody God, makes you never, it. never yeah. know. Never know. And yeah, you and Ving's character, I mean, you've got this great little buddy thing as well. Yeah, I love that. Going on in the movie. Yeah, yeah Ving is kind of, you know, Ving was the original tech guy, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, he and I have this dynamic whereby he's the, the journeyman, you know, he's been on, around a long time. He's very wise. I'm the puppy dog, you know, the new kid on the block. But we, we sort of work together. It's not like an anta antagonism there. We are a little team, and I love that, you know, because Ving is just, you know, he's been there since the beginning. Right, right. And like you said, yeah, from the beginning, and then you've been there for a while now. Other new pieces have been added, like Angela Bassett, yeah. you know, and she's tough in the movie, too. Oh my goodness. Angela's super, super cool. I love her, you know, her sort of um, authoritative kind of, with her short hair and stuff. She looks really, really, um, you know, powerful, and I think, I'd like to see her in another one, if possible, you know? Mm -hmm. oh, I just like hanging out with her, you know? Right, right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I have to see what happens, you know? Yeah. Like everything. And like I've been mentioning everybody, I mean, of course, a great cast. I mean, Tom Cruise, yourself, Bing, Angela, everybody. Yeah. But one of the other biggest cast members is that theme song. Yes. That thing just comes on and you just... It's amazing. And I love what has been done now with the, the score. Um, the, the, the sort of variations on that theme, that's Lalo Schifrin's original theme, has been, you know obviously interpreted by each successive uh, composer. This one, it's just so rich and powerful and it just drives the film in a way that, you know, you forget music is, is sometimes half the effort, you know? When you see a, a scene without music, Chris showed me the other day the foot chase scene with uh, Ethan chasing Walker without music. And it's just a bit flat, you know? Right. However spectacular the action is, however many things Tom jumps off, right. without the music, it isn't what it could be. And then the music comes along and suddenly it's complete. And those stunts feel even more incredible. And that sound is just rippling through you. It's great. That's for sure. It gets the, <laughs> gets the blood and everything going. Yeah, totally. And another one he had in there, I'll See You In My Dreams. I mean, that was just a song in the background. Yeah, But I yeah, love yeah. that song. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So it's a classic tune. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, Simon, always a pleasure seeing you. Likewise, Look sir. Look forward to seeing you at the next adventure. Yeah. Wherever it may be. Hello. Hello again. How are you? Very good. Great. Thank you. Always a pleasure to see you. Me too. And like I mentioned, your outfit and everything's just matching so perfect with the backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't. It was a by. It was an accident. <laughs> mm hmm It all worked out well. But fun movie. This thing just, like I've been telling everybody, it, as soon as the theme song starts, it just Everyone's goes. in, you just know what you're getting, don't you? Right, right. And everybody, you kind of look at everybody a little sideways, trying to figure out, okay, who's this person good, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so it just makes it a whole fun ride. I know, it is, isn't it? It's just a fun ride, it's brilliant. And it, well, you know, you just know you're, you're in store for something pretty spectacular. Mm -hmm. And your character, she's, she's the lady in charge and it's just kind of, because she's all, almost always kind of like smiling. Mm -hmm. But it's that smile of like, Oh God! <laughs> yeah, I know. What's, that was the intention. What's going to happen? To I me? know. Like any minute. Okay. What does that mean? Yeah, that was the intention, just to kind of make it mysterious and a bit weird. Right. Right. And you know. And then the other thing is, everybody always thinks when they see movies like this, they know who. When I say the bad person is, or the other person is. Now, after all, you don't know, which is so great. It's kind of like you're just so taken in with everybody, mm. thinking, okay. I just have to wait till the end, and when you mm -hmm. get there, you're then immediately like, okay, maybe not necessarily saw that coming, yeah. which makes it fun. Totally, <laughs> totally. And what was it like for you? I mean, when you get this, get a script for something like this, you're flipping through. This is probably like one of those one-time reads where you just sat there and probably read the whole thing at once. Uh, no, we didn't have the script before we started, so oh. it was it was evolving as it was going along. Chris had in his head the world he wanted to create, and then 
you know, let the kind of narrative evolve. And he's, you know, he, that's the way, that's his process. And um, he kind of allows it to be organically, really. Oh. And when you just trust them and you take a leap mm -hmm. of faith and you go, okay, this is the energy of the character that I think would be interesting and this is the personality and to make somebody that sort of, um, you know, enigmatic was was uh, was key and sort of like you can't tell whether she's good or bad and that was something we wanted to do. So, yeah. And everybody, of course, I mean, I know you've been hearing this too, everybody definitely had to be in great shape because everybody gets beat up in this film. I know, <laughs> yeah. I know, it's one of those. Yeah, uh, it was, it, you know, Tom definitely... Um, you know, leads the example really of how, you know, physically you have to repair and you don't know what stunts you may or may not be doing and, you know, it would be a nightmare to think I wouldn't be able to keep up in any way with Tom. So, you know, we all prepared really well and we did lots of training and I loved that part of it and I'd never done that before so it was really exciting to to commit to something like that and to, you know, to enjoy it like that. Right. And just so many, you know, great fight scenes and different things because we even talked about the one, I know you weren't involved with this, but the one in the restroom. It's kind of mm. like, that just seems seamless, I know. you know, like there was no cuts, it was just I all know. one take. Absolutely amazing, <laughs> absolutely amazing, yeah. It was quite extraordinary. I, I remember watching a bit with Chris as they were filming it, and I just thought, oh my God, they're all doing it for real, that's amazing. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I mean, I just kind of look and think, I ache sitting down sometimes, you know, mm, and it's like, same. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine, I know, they're just top of their game. It's quite extraordinary. Yeah, we should have put a few of those moves in the crown. <laughs> oh, that would have been great Elizabeth to out. see. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that would have had a whole different ending. <laughs> those lunch scenes, you know, those argument over lunch would not uh, not end in the same way. No, that's for sure. Now I'm going to go home and watch it again, you know, The Crown <laughs> again when we first met, and just think, that that's, would have worked out well here. And in here. this moment, just right. a karate chop underneath, or like a shin kick under the table. Right, yeah. right. And then, you know, this is a series, I mean, it started out, of course, as a television series back in the 60s, became a movie series like 20-some years ago. But, you know, it, the best part is you don't have to see the first one or know anything about, like, the TV show to get involved with this. I mean, you'll see this one, It's, it's when I say they're all standalone, and just have a ball mm -hmm. and not worry about, oh, I don't know who this, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to, because they kind of stand alone like that, really, and it's sort of just personality all meeting together and going on this adventure. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, enjoyed it very, very much. Thank you. Always a pleasure to see you. You too, my I love. I look forward to seeing you again. Yes, we it, will. It's so funny because, you, of course, you can't say much about it because you don't want to give anything away. I know. Uh, of the movie. I know. You <laughs> can't. I know you can't really, right. can you? Right. Other than yeah, you in, can't tell that it's you in know. color and it's in English. Yes. <laughs> so that's the whole well, thing. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, again, thank you. Thank you, my lovely. Good to see you, my Pleasure darling.